hey guys welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hi my name is mimi so in today's video i'm gonna be answering the whole my first youtube paycheck and i know there's people that were probably curious there was one or maybe two or three people that asked me like how much i made the first time i got paid on an instagram story that i had put up so today i'm here to explain the whole process to you guys if you're new to my channel hi my name is mimi i hope that you subscribe and stay with us so in today's video i'm gonna be telling you guys how much i made for my first YouTube paycheck as a South African teenager with a small channel like I'm a small youtuber so first I'm gonna explain the whole process of actually getting monetized before I tell you guys how much I made because I want you to actually understand how we got to that amount that we got to so to even get paid on YouTube, you have to have a minimum of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. 4,000 watch hours also translates to 240,000 minutes. So that's how much time people need to spend on like your videos, like watching your videos. Keep in mind, a day is 24 hours. So imagine 4,000 hours of people just watching your videos. So it's a lot and it is so difficult to hit it unless if you're like super famous or maybe have a following on another platform and then you just bring it over to you. YouTube. but if you're a nobody like me nobody knows you you're not popular on tiktok you're not popular on instagram you're not popular on anything you're just wanting to start a youtube channel then it's gonna be hard to grow that 4,000 watch hours and to grow that 1,000 subscribers so i hit 1,000 subscribers pretty quickly but it wasn't quickly i think a year into my channel i had hit 1,000 subscribers and i say quickly because guys we all know who mr beast is right it took mr beast three years to hit 1,000 subscribers so I hit 1,000 subscribers before I hit 4,000 hours and I feel like what helped my channel with the 4,000 hours was because I once posted a jump rope challenge video that got over like 60k views if I'm not mistaken but I eventually just took it down off my channel because I felt like it was doing more bad than good on my channel so I think from that video alone, I had got around 2,500 watch hours. So if you have the luck of having a video blow up, you could always just like skyrocket to that 4,000 um, hours instead of like having to wait like majority of us. So the rest of my videos basically only had to get 2,000 more hours in order for me to hit the 4,000 hour mark. So in December of last year, crazy, it's December again. December of last year is when I officially hit both. Um, milestones the 1000 and the 4000 and they told me oh congratulations you're not part of the YouTube program YouTube partner program blah 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 and then once you get that email it's now time for you you can monetize the videos that you currently have but honestly I didn't do that because I knew it wasn't going to bring in a lot of money since nobody was re-watching those videos nobody was like there wasn't a large amount of views that were going into those videos as I said I was a nobody so I didn't think those videos would make any money at all. So I didn't monetize them. I just waited for me to start monetizing the videos that I was currently producing and currently posting on YouTube. So once I had been told that I was monetized, like I started putting the ads on my videos, like I started actually monetizing my videos. You can monetize the videos in the meanwhile that you're waiting to be fully monetized because it's not just about hitting 1,000 subscribers and then 4,000 and then boom, you get your money. Firstly, YouTube has to verify that you're a real person by verifying your address. They send a letter to your house and oh my gosh, the letter is so far from me right now, but I'll just put it up on the screen for you guys so you can see what the letter looks like. And the letter has a six number pin in it that you need to enter in your google adsense account in order to verify your address before they can actually pay you when i tell you jesus could have came back before that letter came romeo and juliet's last story would have went for centuries on before that letter came i even thought it got lost in the mail and i requested a second letter thinking that you know what this letter is actually never gonna come i might as well just request another one because i say after like five weeks of like waiting for the letter and it hasn't come you can like request for another pin so i requested for another pin mind you december went by january went by feb went by march went by and i think only by like april the letter came when i wasn't at home and my mom took a picture for me i was like yes i was like finally this letter is here and actually i think i might be wrong about when the letter actually came i put the date up on the screen because my mom did send me a picture of the letter so when the letter finally came i put it in and they verified my address and now it's when you actually start making the money so now i actually have put ads on my videos and you can't really choose the ads that are on your videos youtube automatically chooses them for you all you can choose is where in which part of your videos you have ads so for example at the beginning and the end at the beginning the middle 
an end at the beginning middle 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 end like you can choose how many times they can be an ad in your video so once i had done all of that was actually when i started earning money on youtube and i was confident that i would receive a payment and they ask you to put in like um uh your card your bank details and what 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 they work with any bank if i'm not mistaken i use fnb and i personally use fnb because fnb just works so well with like international trades even if it's not like youtube related other stuff that i do want to pursue that's like international money fnb just is the best in my opinion so i just connected my fnb card and there was a point where they asked me for like a a serial number or something and I just could not figure out what that was and I just kept googling and researching until I found I think it was a branch number that they were looking for like the branch of your bank and then I finally entered it and I was good to go now keep in mind at the time that I got monetized my videos were not even hitting 1,000 views so it was not a lot of money do not expect me to tell you an outrageous amount of money because it's honestly not if anything it's as good as pocket money the money is enough for me to do my hair if I want do my nails if I want do my lashes if I want maybe buy a pair of shoes if i want go out maybe multiple times if i want but it's not a huge amount of money so youtube only pays once a month it pays every 21st of the month so between the 21st and the 25th you should expect your payment then and if you don't receive your payment it's because you haven't reached the 1000 rand benchmark so for them to actually give you the money you need to make more than a thousand rand per month so more than a k rand so for people in the united states it's more than a hundred dollars a month and it differs for every single country for four south africans you have to make more than a thousand rand per month so when you hear someone say they got their youtube money they got over a k they do not pay you 350 they do not pay 100 rand 500 rand i saw tiktok the other day of this lady saying her first payment was 350 and i was like girl you lying you lying to everybody and it's so sad to see how everybody in the comments was gullible because when you don't know when you haven't been in those shoes you you can't argue you know and i was like in her comments i was like girl you know damn well you're lying because they don't pay out before you've hit 1k and not only that she said she got paid on the 8th 7th of december girl bffr come on now so once you've hit all of those things that i mentioned once you have a thousand subscribers four thousand watch hours you verify your address by receiving the pin and putting it into your google accent you've waited for the 21st of the month you've hit one thousand rand like the benchmark is when you can finally expect your payment mind you youtube takes I'm not sure if it's 45% or 65% of every creator's earnings. I'll put it up on the screen. But they take a cut of your money. And you are not getting paid by YouTube. There's such a big misconception that YouTube is the one that's paying. You get paid by Google. Google. The same Google you Google on. Haven't you guys noticed that the same ads you see on YouTube are sometimes the same as you see when you're on a website somewhere. Or just maybe on TV. Because Google is the one that's advertising on YouTube's platform. So Google puts the ads on your videos. You make money and google pays you youtube takes their cut because they've offered you a place to put a video and be able to place ads in the first place you know what i'm saying so youtube is not the one that pays youtube gives people zero rand google is the one that pays even when your payment gets in it says google c-i-t-b-a-n-k something like that but there's google in like the reference of the payment and i think before i tell you guys how much i actually made that i want to tell you is your earnings change every single month so this month you could make 1,001 rand then the next month you make 5k then the next month you make 3,000 then the next month you make 9,000 then the next you make 10k then the next 15 then the next 2k like it literally flex to weights all the time and it's based on your rpm and cpm and now if you're interested and you want to dive deeper into what rpm and cpm are i don't know till this day i just have a brief understanding so i'm not going to try to explain something that i also don't understand because i'm just going to confuse you guys as well but yeah your rpm and your cpm are also always changing you can see these in your youtube analytics after you are monetized so as i said your money is so different every single month so there's no like security one thing you need to learn is to build multiple streams of income as a youtuber and to also learn how to save start another business make sure you have like you need to make sure because you can't just depend on your youtube adsense to live your life so that is everything i know on how to get monetized everything that you need to know all the information i know i've just shared with you guys and now i'm just gonna tell you guys how much i actually made the the first month that i got paid so my first month on youtube getting paid not in my first month but just my first month of getting paid i made 1181 rand so 
as i said i didn't monetize my old videos this was just based on my videos from i would say like may till june july because there was also a time like my uploading schedule was well for my liking it wasn't the best so that is how much i made and obviously there were other payments after that that was just my first month and yeah that's how much i made 1181 rand if i'm not mistaken that is how much i made and yeah it felt good to just receive money for being myself on the internet sharing my life sharing like building relationships with people over the internet like it felt good i felt like i didn't really do much to get the money besides the hours of editing and hours of video creation and planning <laughs> but you know what i'm saying like it's just when you love something and you're doing something because if you're very passionate about it it doesn't seem like a lot of work so i was just like happy and grateful to receive that money in the first place there are people who are actually working actually nine to five jobs who get that money as a salary so i was very grateful and i was just very happy like i was so happy it was like ah, i'm making my own money one thing i also want to add is south african youtubers don't make as nearly as much as creators in the united states in canada in australia in land in the uk like they don't we don't make nearly as much as they do they make cake they make a lot of money like there's this one guy that i follow and he like regularly posts like his youtube analytics and he makes over a hundred k pounds a hundred k pounds per month that is more than a million rand in a month mind you that is more than 15 million rand minimum in a year i had just watched another video before this of like king omar um arjun and uh, just daddy d Ugh. just daddy g they had said they had given like an estimation of how much they've made like the most they've made on youtube i think king omar said between 38k and 45k just daddy g said something along the lines of around 50k if i'm not mistaken and then arjun said i would say around 30k because he said like the iphone 14 the one terabyte and that's usually like 20k 30k and that is how much they've made on youtube so far mind you king omar has over 200,000 subscribers so south african youtubers are definitely making so much less than what american and canadian and australian and the uk youtubers are making so keep that in mind if you are maybe from there then have a lot of hope because you can make a lot of money on this platform so that is how much i made and that is all the information i know if you guys did enjoy this video if you found it helpful make sure to share it to somebody make sure to comment down this emoji if you're still watching and if you're new here make sure to like comment and subscribe I love you guys so 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 much and watch the damn ads because then I can tell you about a higher earning. Do you know what I'm saying? I love you so 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 much and I'll see you next time in the new one. Bye.